We had parents that were concerned. Uh, the problem, again, goes back to a, a big battle uh, in, in our neighborhood. It was the Puerto Rican. They wouldn't speak English or try to. You, you were an American. You spoke English. And if you didn't like it, get your ass back where you came from. Very simple. One day, around 60, after the population was uh, building up in the neighborhood, I was cruising, a bunch of us. And uh, we got the word that one of our buddies was uh, in intensive care in the hospital. Eh. Well, what do you think? We all took off, maybe seven, eight cars. Henroton Hospital by the Playboy Building on Michigan Avenue. That's where he had to go because his head was bashed in by some uh, supposedly nice Puerto Ricanos. And uh, we wanted to find out about it. The uh, police uh, couldn't make an effort. So we decided we'll make the effort. That's how it started. It's like a completely different demographic, you know? Their values were different and everything else. It was because how they were raised, you know? So they could come from up here from, Port from Puerto Rico, get off the boat here, and a lot of them, because they got here, they didn't have jobs or anything, they sign up for welfare right away, and next thing you know, you know, we looked at them as a bunch of welfare poems, and that was the problem. We met one of their leaders down on Milwaukee Avenue. That's where a lot of the uh, Puerto Ricans were uh, chilling out in that area. They gave us the fingers and this and that. We, we all, and they brought, they were telling us that we we're gonna be uh, Latin kings coming from New York and uh, New York, the netter shit in Apple State. <laughs> New York, he was showing us all these signs and we didn't quite catch it yet, you know, until one of the guys, you know what? Maybe these guys ain't bullshitting. We better tighten up a little bit. Well, little did anybody know at the time, the brothers of, of the Gaylords had brothers, had cousins, and friends of them, cousins. So, meanwhile, we were doing all of this, having fun, and then starting to get a little serious. We had our teams joining in. Lord Asie from Palmer Street. Lord Paul out Rondale and Ock. We moved up here, started a section here called uh, St. Louis and Ock out in 1976. White power. Yeah, white gang. Uh, took care of our neighborhoods, kept them white. I grew up in Humble Park, so I was surrounded by Puerto Ricans. I actually took a bus to go hang out in a white neighborhood and help them keep it white. Back to 61. At that time, that time exactly, we were about 1,200 strong. It was on a Thursday at 8 o'clock in the evening. Every Puerto Rican car that was in the neighborhood was destroyed. At least 11 buildings were destroyed. People had enough, you know? And I'm still thinking because of that, the attitude of the Spanish people uh, have a hatred, but they don't understand what they were doing to us and getting away with it. And they were trying to control neighborhoods. You, you just don't step in the neighborhoods, and even this time, and try to take it over. Move in nicely, let the people know you like we knew each other, and it's great. We probably wouldn't have this uh, BS going on. Ralph Alvarez, alias known as Ralph, Ralphie G. Um, almighty Imperial Gangster from Belvin and Drake. Pretty much gang of the Gaylords. That was their neighborhood before, you know? Puerto Ricans started migrating to Logan Square. We started invading their neighborhood, you know? So you're gonna defend, you're gonna protect what's yours. You know, we had to fight to get ours. The misconception about uh, any so, at least our, our street gang was that we're prejudiced. And that was a big misconception. It was a cultural difference. Uh, we were pro-American and we had a problem with uh, another culture coming in and trying to take over our culture. What do they think? America was like a thousand people and that was it? Like Puerto Rico, a little island? Now they're packed like sardines over there. Yeah, and here too. But the point is, we didn't do this. We tried to eliminate this. But that's why the pressure went down. And that's where I think the gang shit started. Right. We had Greek, Italian, Irish, uh, every nationality you can imagine. And the thing that united us was we all fought the same. 
It was a lifestyle difference. We're prejudiced against lifestyle, not a color.